Welcome back everyone to the next episode of my Honkai Star Rail first time playthrough. We've made it to uh, Yurillo 6 and this rather wonderful city that we're going to explore very soon. We met the leader, um, I forget her name, it was Co Co Coco Melon, Some something like that anyway. Uh, and something weird's going on with her, but she was fairly nice to us at first, so uh, we've been told we can nice. stay at the sexy hotel and we're gonna check out some of the landmarks as well but before we do that um i've got i've been given a mission by many of you in the comments to check out trash garbage rubbish uh so we're gonna do that to kick off the video as we just generally explore as well but also off screen i have done some slight leveling and i also did uh some of the interastral uh, guide challenges. So I, well, I enhanced the light cone to level 10. You'll see which one that is in a second. So we'll claim that. A bit more Trailblaze XP. I think I'm Trailblaze level 9 at the moment. Uh, then we just need to do the simulated universe second close beta. We might try that today. Depends. If not, I can do that off screen. Uh, looks like we'll get a pass for that as well. So that's cool. But I did do... Uh, not the Calyx, what was it? I did the base mechanism training things and got a bunch of rewards from that as well, so I'll probably do the next one off-screen in my own time. We have travelogue stuff to check, Gift of Odyssey, Bing Bang Bosh, ooh, another special pass to claim, very nice. Now, many of you have opinions on what characters I should and shouldn't use. Again, I'm just going to go with my gut. What I like, what I what I like the look of. Um, I I'm not trying to play the the best team that ever did grace this game, uh, at least not right now. So uh, you know, feel free to to say who your favourites are, but um, I may or may not use them. Uh, right, not much else to claim there. We could do another character trial today. I might do, um, but I'm not going to prioritise that right now. I do like the look of you though. You were pretty cool, and I, I, I'm just going to call you Guinea Pig, okay? I don't know how to pronounce these names, guys. Hmm. So maybe we'll do, we'll do that. Uh, in fact, let's do that, let's do that right now. And then I'll go through some of the upgrades that I've done. Uh, burns enemies. Applies vulnerable to burned target enemies. Cool. Let's give her a go. Uh, I, I love, I mean, the... The anime aesthetic is just appealing, isn't it? But, like, I, I love how varied all of the characters look still, especially with their outfits. Um, hello? Right. Oops. Uh, triangle. Oh my god, we just threw a firebomb. Oh my gosh. Standing ovation. Deals minor fire, uh, fire damage. Uh, blazing welcome. Deals fire damage to a single enemy and minor fire damage to adjacent enemies with chance of burning them. Uh, ultimate, deal fire damage to all enemies. Enemies are inflicted with burn. The burn status deals damage uh, one extra time. Pa pa Patreon benefits. Very, very, very good. Very good, Honkai. Very good. After burn status damage on the enemy, there's a high chance of applying fire kiss. Uh, and skill showcase. Uh, did it. Okay. Right. Ooh. Everyone's a customer. <laughs> okay, and who else is it giving us? Uh, me, from the looks of things, and um, is that is that Asta? I, I don't know. I don't know. Right, blast. Let's do it. On all three, please. <laughs> who Boom. invited you? And you know what? We'll do the Happy ultimate as well. Which we've already seen. We have seen this. I do remember now. All the little, <laughs> the little doggos, and uh, yeah, this is um, uh, what's her face? Who will it be? Boom! It's time. Single target. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Die of fun. Did I have fire on my weapon then? I, I, anyway, bounce. Whatever. <laughs> I can't wait to meet her. Right. 
again, I might as well just blast it. Uh, yeah, we've look at the, look at the thick look at the weapon we've got right now. I want one of them. Holy crud! Freaking fire spear. Ooh, it was like chill out. Just attack, whatever. Yeah, that thing looks sick, as the kids say. Bosh, you're nearly done, mate. Blast. No manners, huh? He's still, still, still alive. Okay, still alive. Not anymore. Oh, I did have all the ultimates there as well. Anyway, interesting. Okay, I will claim my reward. Thank you very much. Uh, more adventure logs, credits, good stuff. Right, so maybe we'll try a character trial every video or something. Um, but I have received more friend requests, apparently. Uh, f did I say friend requests? That's not a word. Uh, achieve, we'll claim, we'll, I'll claim a lot of this stuff in between videos as well, but characters. So, we've, we got my main character to level 20 last time anyway, nothing's changed there. And I think we've still got the same light cone, which has been superimposed, I think once, by the looks of things. Might level that up a little bit, actually. Uh, I've got March to level 15, and I got Dan to level 16. Just because I, I actually feel like I, I want to use those a bit more, just because I, I quite like the characters, to be honest, and it just fits with the story. And then we'll just have a randomer join us every now and then. We'll swap them out, maybe. Um, I might change my mind, I don't know. But we've got Asta here, who is level 6, so I might level her up a little Watch bit. Heads. But I also think that maybe I want to try... Maybe serve a bit more. Her to... Uh, we've got we got Hook that we haven't used yet. He looks interesting. Or she, sorry. Um, I don't know. And Arlen, who we... Yeah, we met before. So, I think... Uh, oh, I need to give you a light cone. I need to give you a light cone. Uh, you are also destruction, so I'll just give you that one for now. I did give Dan the swordplay light cone for now, since he's in my team, and I've leveled that up to level 11, so nice hefty boost on that. But other than that, I haven't really leveled anyone's light cones as far as I can tell. So if we're going to stick with Asta for now, which I might do, again, might change my mind, uh, let's enhance my... Well, actually... I wonder if we can do a pull today first. I don't know if we... If we want to trade in... Because I have a lot of, um... Star Jade. Also, I've been told to exchange for, uh, these embers as well. And I could get a bunch of special passes with those. Should I do that? Should I do that? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. How many do we want to... Do we want to spend all five? All five of them? I mean, that's... That's a lot. That's like over half of my current supply of embers, but I guess we'll be getting more of them. We might as well. Uh, I'm going to get five special passes. Let's do it. There we go. All right. Um, I think I still need like one more regular pass, though, which I could. I could do. I could grab. You know what? Yeah, we'll do it. So now I think I can do another pull on the basic one, maybe. Uh, I have eight, and it should let me do it, right? It's minus 20%, so it should just cost eight and not ten. Having a cup of tea, by the way. Uh, will it let me do it? It will! Okay, we're pulling. Also, did I just get another achievement? Or are we gonna get, hopefully, some juicy light cones? Imagine if I got a ten-star character. I don't think there's 10-star characters. Oh, holy shit, we got Natasha straight away. Hi, Natasha. You look like some sort of, uh, what's the word? Oh, what's the word? Not cleric. Um, oh, I'm thinking back to Octopath Traveler. What's the word? People, uh, not alchemist, but you know what I mean? Maybe an alchemist. Uh, more meshing cogs. I've been told those are pretty good. And we're getting more undying embers from this anyway, so you know what? That's fine. Light cone loop. I think we've already got that. Darting arrow. Fine fruit. Yep. Mutual demise. Oh. Amber. Hidden shadow. Void. 
Oh, a four-star light cone, post-op conversation. That actually looks like that's gonna suit Natasha. I don't know. We got a new character though, that's pretty cool. And I did put in a few of, uh, well, I know I know some of you were like, well, maybe uh, Black Swan isn't a good choice for you, uh, but I really do like the look of him, so I think we'll uh, we'll pop in another ten, ten into this one. Although I could just do one warp, couldn't I? We'll do one. We'll just do one. We'll see what we get. But um, yeah, we'll have to see what Natasha's like. There's a lot of characters in this game, isn't there, already? Passkey. Okay, nothing too exciting there. But again, you do get embers, so that's pretty cool. Uh, dee 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 dee. Yeah, I think we'll just leave it there for now. Let's have a look at characters. So, Natasha. I have a feeling by the end of the game, you're just going to be scrolling along forever. Uh, hello, Abundance. So I think you're our first Abundance character, aren't you? Ability. Let's have a look. Oh, wait. Are you the... Oh, you're the one with the grenade gun. Oh, and the teddy bear. Oh. Right. You're a healer. Oh, I think Natasha might have to go on my team, chaps. I think Natasha might have to go on my team. I mean, I do have March that can basically heal as well. Um, that actually sounds amazing, though. Yeah. Still single. Yeah. Immediately attacks the enemy after entering battle, deals physical damage. Base chance, uh, base chance to... 100% base chance to weaken all enemies. 100% base chance? You mean it's just guaranteed, then? Okay. Enemies deal 30% less damage when when weakened. Right. Uh, yeah, Natasha, you might have to go on my team. Or at least I'm going to try you out. And Light Cone. Yeah. That Light Cone we just got. Mutual healing. Increase the wearer's energy regeneration rate by 8%. Increase outgoing healing when the they use the ultimate by 12%. Oh, I think we'll give you that. Very nice. Um, traces. Let's have a quick look here. Uh, increase HP by 4%. Activate. Uh, oh wait, I don't have all of the enough. Oh, I don't have the material. I'm missing one material. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we could maybe upgrade this light cone. We could level it up all the way to 19 if we wanted to. That would use up most of my materials though. Uh, so we won't do that for now. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to change my setup here quickly. Uh, I could just make a new party and swap to that. Like I have done here. I've been kind of messing around because I, I would like to use Serval especially. She looks really cool with her guitar. Um, and obviously these are the characters that we've not had a chance yet. Um, but quick setup. We'll go with me. We'll go with Dan. We'll go with Natasha. And for now, March might sit this one out just because I have a healer now. So we'll go with... We'll go with Hook. Confirm. We'll give him a try. We'll give, we'll give him a try. Enable team. Okay. So do I actually want to, again, level up these characters before we crack on? I mean, Mage and Dan should be able to pretty much carry, but I might level up Natasha just a little bit. Um, oh, I just one of those items can get us straight to level 10. Yeah, I might I might as well. I've been told that pretty much early game, you can just kind of level up as many as you want, but eventually the currency needed will start to get a bit harder to uh, acquire. But if she's got more HP, that's more healing that she's doing, so I like that. Um, she reminds me very much of a character out of, uh, if you ever played it, Valkyria Chronicles. Amazing game. Amazing game. Everyone should go play it. Uh, and Hook, I might as well give you a level as well. I don't know if you're any good, though. But there you go. 
Although saying that, maybe I should be focusing on leveling up light cones because I can swap those between characters and then they carry over the stats, right? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Right. Was there anything else I was going to mention? I don't remember. Anyway, I'm sure I will have forgotten many, many things. Let's check out this big monument. Oh, and trash cans, which I, I swear I did inspect one, didn't I? In fact, didn't I inspect this one? So if it's still glowing, you can inspect it again. I didn't realize. I checked it once and was like, okay, nothing happened. Moving on. You've been staring at it for a while, but it's just an ordinary trash can. Or is it? Uh, what do you want to do? You try to hold back the urge to open it. Open it. Open it. Do it. Do it. As you continue staring at the trash cans, they seem to turn before your very eyes. The edges are no longer rusty and the dents are smoothed over. What? From under the lid comes a faint golden glow, sweet and alluring. Are there trash can sirens in this? For a moment, the trash can turns into a treasure chest. Are they mimics? And it happen it's happening again. You take a deep breath and open the lid. It's empty. Wait, you reach deeper into the trash can. There's a piece of iron scrap at the bottom. Your hard work paid off. You finally found the treasure. A piece of iron scrap? You look back at your companions and see their c complicated expressions. You don't need to explain. I get it. The urge is too great for you to resist. There's no turning back once you've walked down this path. <laughs> what did I get? What is that? Avatar obtained from completing hidden missions in Urillo 6. Guys who can laugh at themselves usually have plenty of friends. Who are you cursing out? What is that? What do I do with that? I got a tra- I, pi I picked a trash can. Okay, wait, can I do it again? A wrinkled handwritten flyer is lying in the trash can. You can just make out the following. This will be our best prize for Valentine's flowers for the entire year. Take the chance- Well, someone- Yeah, it's just stuff people have thrown away. Considering all the other cliched advertising, this is pretty good. Wow, I'd be so mad if someone gave me this. What is this? Um, would you like to, to give us- what, what do you like to give us a present? Flowers. I love flowers. If they put it like that and I catch wind that they're on uh, ordinary discount on clearance or picked off the street, then those people are toast. <laughs> okay, we fully exhausted that that ru uh, that bin. We call it we call them rubbish bins over here. Interesting, very interesting. Uh, I can't. You know what? So, I know this might sound stupid. But I didn't expect this game to be like an actual JRPG, if that makes sense. I thought, because of the gacha, because it's like mobile game, I thought that it wouldn't be like, or feel like a proper single-player JRPG. And that's the vibes that I'm getting right now. You know what I mean? We've made it to a new town, there's a problem we're gonna have to solve. I love it. I love it. Can I get run over by the tram? Nope. Okay. Ding ding, sorry. I know you got places to be. Right. I'll keep an eye out for any more, uh, rubbish bins. Chavez! Enthusiastic man. Hello, Chavez. Young person, look over here. You look young, too. Uh, just two minutes of your time can save you from future losses. Okay. Are you a, are you a scammer? Has a sneaky kid with dark blue hair ever come up to talk to you? Not, not recently. Not that I Oh, actually, yeah, that could be Sampo. I wouldn't call him a kid, though. Um, I've never seen someone like that. Yeah, Sampo. I forgot about him. Sampo, you've been scammed. That's just an alias. That means you're a victim of the dark blue scam. Take my advice. That guy is a serial scammer. Don't believe anything he says. Here, take this. This is a tutorial on preventing scams written by the Dark Blue Scam Victims Association. You mean he's scammed that many people that they formed a group against him? Read it carefully, and if you have any questions, come to me. Okay. C can I ask a question? Go ahead. It's our responsibility to help prevent the public from being scammed. Um, how were you scammed? The first time I met the guy, he asked if I wanted a parallel universe printer. 
I asked him how the printer works, and he immediately started rambling on a bunch of smorgasbord. A bunch of smorgasbord about science stuff. I was almost caught up in it. Terms like parallel universe, eons, and parity anomaly. Swindlers love to use these words related to the universe and eons to scam people. I didn't believe him until he used used it to print money. He made two bills with the exact same serial number. Oh, that's a problem. Um, how much did you pay? Uh, the, the price isn't important. What's important is that you need to be careful, so the same scam doesn't happen to you. <clears throat> Some, sometime later, after the counterfeiting scam, I bumped into the same blue-haired guy again in an alley in the commercial district. I should have had the Silvermane guards arrest him, but I was so angry I needed an explanation. Instead, he asked me with a straight face, were you, were you staring at the printer? He accused me of not reading the manual and wasted such a, a genius invention. He even offered to refund uh, full payment so he could find another buyer for the parallel... Wow. He also said, if the operator keeps stare, staring at the printer, the parallel universe transmission can't happen. The only way to avoid interfering with transmission process... This is a long-winded conversation I did not expect. You bought it. Oh no, you didn't buy an ether lens. Doesn't that sound reasonable? So I tricked- I was tricked again by this, this apparent sincerity! I don't know if he's just a genius scammer or if this guy is just super gullible. Maybe a bit of both. Um... Now I know that 9 out of 10 people who try to associate their products with any kind of parallel universe theory are scammers. 9 out of 10, not everyone. There's some legit ones out there, are there? I mean, parallel universe actually exists. Do I know that? Seems like a pretty bold claim. You kidding me? Do you really expect me to believe that? Or are you working with a blue-haired guy? Get out! If I don't- <laughs> if you don't leave- oh boy. Um, right, that's all. I'm- I'm done. Uh, anti-fraud guide. Maybe we should actually read that quickly. Uh, we are gonna make no progress today, my friends. Absolutely no progress whatsoever. Where's- why can I never find my bloody inventory? Why is, it, why is that so hard for me to find? It's right there, it's a bag. Uh, I have no idea where that would be. I'm guessing... It... Oh. I have no idea. I have no idea where it is. Uh, also... Yeah, I forgot we bought that stuff. Right. Also, maybe I should, um, I should start spending my Jade on, uh, special passes as well. Right. Uh, now, I'm sure there are more trash cans around, but I can't see any. I will be missing some, I promise you. Ooh, a chest! Just sitting out in the open. Excellent. Uh, Dominic. I love the look of this city. I really do. Children of the Everwinter City, proud citizens of preservation, hold your heads up high. Grind not against the mundane vulgarities of your everyday lives. Always remember, deep in your hearts, the teachings of the Architects and the Supreme Guardian. He seems rather involved. Would you like to hear him finish his preaching? Um, will I get anything for it? Let's continue listening to Dominic. Normal it is for you to have doubts in your hearts, because you look around... Uh, because you look around yourselves and you can't see preservation anywhere. You cast your eyes hither and thither, and ne'er do you see any evidence of the very existence of preservation. Preservation. And yet comes this very day. I shall resolve your doubts and let you feel the true grace of preservation. Let you marvel at the almighty will of the architects. Who, yeah, apparently built... They built this city. I know I made that joke last time. Uh, keep... Listening to, listen to what the crowd has to say. Hear that? Uh, what an impassioned speech. Praise the architects, and his words have reinvigorated my lust for life. Is it really as great as you say? If you ask me, these arch architects just say the, the same empty rhetoric day in, day out. If you've got time for all this bluster, you've got time to help improve everyone's living conditions around here. Uh, oh, the, ki the kid's even getting into it. I've, I've been off for a big walk and come back. It's still going. Ki kids these days, they never shut up. Right, uh, yeah, that's enough for me. Thanks. Uh, like these, these, yeah, freaking heaters just spread around the place. Geomaro ore excavated from underground is converted into heat necessary to for survival. Pretty nifty. Uh, they've got cars as well. Very weird looking cars. 
And another chest over here. And another can! Yes! You may have noticed that, yes, there are an unbelievable number of trash cans in the city. I've only found two. Uh, somebody did once pr uh, propose to reduce the overall number, or to initiate some kind of garbage tax policy. But it only received the uh, amount of garbage on the street. It only increased- I can't read. Only increased the amount of garbage on the street. Now people in the city have come to the consensus that trash cans are Bellabog's other business card. That's the name of the place, Bellabog. Right. Uh, okay, we can- Oh, I've triggered a cutscene. Uh, that's the alley that Shepard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can't believe how close it is to the city center. They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back. This is your final warning. What? But my proof of property is inside. I don't have any... The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. Oh dear. I can't believe Fragmentum corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. Not, I'm not quite sure what a Fragmentum is, but it's bad, right? Uh, this world really is in dire straits. It sure is. But at least we're here. Once we seal the Stellaron, they can get back to the good life. The good life. Whatever that is. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! Let me pass! I don't think they're gonna do that, buddy. <sighs> <sighs> I don't envy, uh, don't envy any, any of those guys. Right. So at least that's one, one thing done. Uh... Ooh, there's, uh... Some sort of board here? Oh, I can't interact with it, never mind. ANOTHER TRASH CAN! A uh, nice looking trash can, but that's all it really is. A trash can. I received pleasant looking trash. Wait a second. Wait a minute. What do I bloody do with that? When used, instantly recovers four technique points for the team. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> Worthless things are beautiful in their own way. That's a beautiful message. I like that. I go down here. I cannot. But there's another one! Yeah, there's quite a few, in there? A pretty postcard is lying in the trash can. It reads, Friend, you have crossed the line. There, there isn't something you should... Uh, this isn't something you should have touched. Signed, Garbage King. There's a coin glued onto the back of the postcard. Seems like the, this king understands that you need to tip someone if you want them to pass on a message. Seems like you've got yourself a real competitor when it comes to rooting through trash cans. Why would he call himself Garbage King? Isn't he embarrassed? I found an ancient coin. What on earth do I do with that? Oh, this girl's having the best time. Oh, she's become intangible. Yeah, and just lo love me some strings as well. Oh, let's grab this, uh, uh, whatever it's called. S uh, space anchor, or I've already got this one. I guess I've already got this one. Uh, vending machine. Nice little cafe. And another chest. Good stuff. Uh, is there... So I think someone mentioned that you can see. Oh, yeah, look. Four out of ten chests. Right. God, I'm missing... I'm, I'm missing... I'm missing a lot. There's also quite a lot of, like, random shops. Oh god, there's a, there was a chest right there and I didn't bloody see it. Nice. And another... God, I'm s I apologize in advance. I'm going to be missing all sorts of things. You find a wrinkled handwritten flyer in the trash can. Written at the top in beautiful handwriting, you see the Rightful Right Society. The content seems to be trying to convince people who have given up on the interests and hobbies due to family and other responsibilities to join this strange organization. Members of the organization cover one another and help each other get away from the family from family or work on weekends and even weekdays in pursuit of individual freedom they call it upholding our rightful rights what a strange arrangement actually I'm a little tempted sometimes I wish I could spend all day doing whatever I want 
by which you mean spend a day asleep in your cabin. I feel seen. I feel so that's exactly what whenever I have whenever I say right when I take a day off, that's all I end up bloody doing, just sleeping. Sleep is amazing. Ten out of ten would sleep again. Uh come around and have a look. Uh oh, Bella Box sausages. Oh, that sounds very nice, actually. Won't mind some brekkie. Right. Uh oh, there's more cans over here too. Two trash cans, one for recycling dry garbage, one for recycling wet garbage. How could you tell? They look both the same. There's no signs or anything. Where would you throw pom-poms fur? What? Dry garbage, wet garbage, I, d I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Uh, well, it depends if it's just fallen in, in, in a bath. I'm going to go dry garbage. Correct. Pom-pom's fur doesn't easily degrade and isn't toxic, so it belongs in the dry garbage. You immerse yourself in the joys of sorting garbage. What? Oh, this is- is this the, uh... Is this the... music venue? I think? Was that... Roaming Judge Ferdo? Wait, please file a report with the Silvermane Guards if you encounter any civil disputes. Please don't try to bypass the po uh, prosecution and discuss it with the judge directly. Judge? I like his coat. Uh, I know what you want to ask as a judge. How is it that I am standing out in the street instead of in the courthouse, right? Have you heard of the term roaming judge? I haven't until now. Ah, <sighs> forget about it. It sounds impressive, but I'm just a legal advisor sent to help the guards. Compared to my work at the court, this is a major waste of time. Uh, waste of time? Don't you- No, that's- that's when I made that- that belt out of wristwatches. It's a complete waste of time. Uh, I, uh, Starlight Sue, Bella Bug Lost Sue, I'm dealing with trivial families- Oh. I should be in charge of more complex, important cases. That's where I shine. You should know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, what's that look on your face? Forget it. You, they they do yas uh, yas. That's not even a word. N uh, Nata, Yabaron, can can we talk? You seem upset. Isn't that obvious? It is very obvious. Dealing with a bunch of ignorant old people every day, you'd be annoyed too if you were me. What kind of legal issues do you help with them with? Oh my god! We are so nosy. You think too highly of the people of Bellabog. What they come for me, uh... What they come to me for has nothing to do with the law. It's all complaints about daily life. So it's the same thing. Complaint tells you they've been altruistic and taking a big picture into consideration, yada yada yada. You can hear thousands of stories like this at Soul Warm Festival. I'm a legal practitioner after all. Due to help public to get to know the law. I am the law. Okay. Um. Just hearing about it makes my head spin. I know, right? I can't go on being a roaming judge for a second longer. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye, bye Ferdo. Ooh, what's this? Also, hi, Ronald. I'm just gonna take this. Bell Rain Petroleum Jelly. Right, let's actually get some story done. Never winter workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Oh. Uh, sometimes being the operative word. I think we've missed one. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Me too. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. It does seem like a very inefficient way of trying to... Because, I mean, yeah, if you get close to it, you'll get the benefit, right? But you ain't going to heat the outside. Like, <laughs> unless you have a million of them. Normally, you'd want a heater inside a building, right? I guess so. Maybe they have indoor heaters, too. Is this how they repel the eternal freeze? Yeah. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. We're being watched, guys. We're being watched. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh wow, she's cool. It's you. It's it's Serval. Serval? Is it Serval? Uh, hello. 
Hi there. The name's Serval. Serval. I'm the of this workshop. Sorry, I've been mispronouncing your name. Uh, you're the owner of the workshop. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you can come to my workshop. But I can't guarantee I'll give a fuck. <laughs> Curious about the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Uh, we only just got here. Everything's new to us. Standing broken machines outside a workshop is bad advertising. Huh? What's wrong with that? Everyone around here knows the way I work. I far be it for me to judge. Oh, I don't think she liked that. Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. Cocolia. You must be them? What an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. I'd, I'd rather not. I'm not that interested. Okay, we've met Saval. Right, we'll go chat with her in a second. Let's quickly first have a look at this big old monument here. There's also a shop. Oh, it's a newspaper seller. Hello, Alexis. We got the news. Today's paper, hot off the press. A new face interested in a newspaper? Uh, yes, please. Oh. I can actually buy newspapers. Or a rye bread soda iceberg. Is that going to be like a recipe? Ice cut. Interview on daily life before the Solon Festival? What do these do? I'm going to buy ice storm causes. Is it just law? Is it just law? It feels like it's just law. It's a readable item. Well, I'm going to buy it. I don't know if we'll read it. Um, is there any point to buying these? Do they do anything? Is it just for the, for the deep lore? Wow, look at the carved ice. Feels perfect for this city somehow. Mm. I can't get over uh, the, like the the gears up up there. They're massive. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? Okay. Hi guys. So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards, and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabug's History program. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna. Didn't we see you in one of the, uh, character trials? But you can call me Pela. Yeah, didn't- didn't we? Yes, Miss Pela. Yes, Miss Pela. <laughs> yes, Miss Pela. And perhaps the grown-ups among us could refrain from acting <laughs> like children? <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Okay, guys. Take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopath. It was they that foresaw a crisis, built up our walls, and established Bellabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbarity. Any questions? Uh, I totally paid attention to that. Uh... <laughs> no, that's cool. I like you, Paler. Uh, right. So, that's pretty much all of our objectives done, isn't it? I'm sure, again, I've missed a bunch of things that we could interact with, but for now... Oh, hang on. Hang on a minute. Anything in the mailbox? Nothing special? I feel like something's wrong. You look carefully again, you'll see a... You see a white letter hidden in shadow. Take it away quietly. You take the envelope. The envelope reads, to Carl E. Ayer, room B03, building 35, 6th Street, Administrative District. 
You open the letter. This is illegal. This is this is a felony. Uh, your work documents for this month are with me. Don't worry, they are quite safe. If you want them returned to you in the same condition, hide a hundred shield within the shaft of the fishing rod inside the chest locked by your wife on top of your wardrobe. What the frick? At 3 p.m. this Saturday, leave your home with the fishing rod and I'll contact you again. Feel free to tell your wife about this, but re refrain from raising the alarm. Unless you want your achievements for the month to become confetti? I'm not your bot. Wow. Misdelivered letter 2. Wait a sec. It's a mission item. You, you mean, can I actually go there and deliver that? Can I actually do that? Maybe I can. I have no idea. Right, let's go chat with Saval. I like the sound of this workshop. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I, I, I would love to work here. I mean, I'm crap with my hands. I'm, I, I couldn't make anything for shit, but I like, I like the ambience. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. Okay. What is Geomaro? I mean, I'm guessing it's just some sort of thing from the earth. Above and beneath the surface? Why is the heater outside? Thanks for your answers. Uh, uh, above and beneath the surface? You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. Oh wait, so there's a there's a whole underground city as well? However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Hmm, well that's suspicious. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna fly. Uh, why is the heater out? Uh, what is Geomaro? Go on, we'll ask. It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomaro. Geomaro grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. Mm hmm. I'm guessing the underworld is going to be real, like a really harsh place where people are basically, you know, uh, I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm completely, I could be completely off, but like forced labor, terrible living conditions. Um, why is the heater outside? Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. Thank you for your answers. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Thanks. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. I'm all for it. Let's do it. Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Is this where we're going to learn synthesis? Help her fix the machine. Oh my god, what the heck? There's a mini game? Oh no, it's a puzzle. Rotate the modules uh, to adjust the circuit and direct the electrical current from the power supply to the endpoint. Okay, so is this like the the um Okay, no, this yeah. I I, I think I get it. It just the fixed modules will appear will appear red when selected. Right. Let's let's ace this first time. I mean it's it's a tutorial one. I'm sure it's gonna be super easy. This is the source. So this kind of reminds me of, uh, like, the hacking minigame in Bioshock or many other puzzles like this in other video games that I can't think of right now. This is the end. Okay. Rotate the module. Yep. Okay. Right. Let's do it. Boom. Boom. Uh, boom. So that's how it works. Easy. Easy, mate. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You pick that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay. <laughs> I'm a good boss. I like how honest you are, Sir Saval. Um, allow me to review. No, I. You know what? I would totally do that. <laughs> do you just say yes to everything? Yes. <laughs> I 
was only kidding. Just a joke. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, me, me too. I was, I was joking. I didn't, I didn't totally get my hopes up or anything. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course. <laughs> I was going to have a look around anyway. Um, oh, that's a video recorder. Okay. Right. Yeah, I love the look of this place. Toolbox. Multiple strange objects in, the, in this cabinet. I'm sure there are. You could probably kill someone with every single thing in this shop, including the shop itself. Uh, large gear? Large gear. It can't be. I don't think there's actually anything else to really... There's no chests in here, right? Can I go upstairs? I'm guessing not. Really dig... This is cozy. This is a cozy little workshop. Uh, can I buy anything? An old VCR... Wait, they have VCRs in this world? Okay, I can't talk to her. Okay. Bye, Saval. It's lovely meeting you. We will be back, hopefully. Right, now we're going to the hotel. Get some rest. Get some should I. Again, apparently there's more chests around here, but I don't know where they are. Uh, can I go down there? Probably not. Uh, oh, and yeah, I keep on forgetting there's a freaking sprint button. Keep on forgetting there's a sprint button. Ooh, blockable line. Okay, apparently he didn't welcome your approach. For some reason, a sweet female voice pops in your head. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? Okay, maybe we will go down there then. In fact, that might be how you get to Underworld. Maybe. Oh shit. Oh, another can! Someone threw a book into the trash can. You pick it up. It seems to be a lengthy serial novel by the name of uh, Tale of the Winterlands. You seem to have the incomplete fourth volume in your hands. Why would someone just throw away a book? is always pretty eventful, huh, Don Hung? Yeah. It's because you've got too much energy. Okay. Anything, any, any letters we can steal from this one? Two envelopes that are being kept in delicate balance. Touching either uh, one will condemn the other to be swallowed by the pitch black moor. Such a dilemma falls in front of you. Oh, no. We could push them all in, which is probably the right thing to do. I'm going to take the envelope on the right. What did that give me? Misdelivered letter four. Is there a side quest to deliver these? Because I've collected a few of them now. All right. Let's have a look at this hotel. Wow, what a beautiful lobby. It's going to be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Want to have a pillow fight later? <laughs> huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. <laughs> <laughs> March. Earlier in Klepoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. I really do adore March. But check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. It is, but appearances can be deceiving. There's something there's something sinister going on. I can feel it. That's not what I was going to say. Alright, spit it out then. Earlier in Klepoth Fort, uh, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. Uh-huh. So, did you notice anything? I knew there was something up with her. Am I the only one who didn't notice anything? No, I mean, I kind of do want to pick that because it's probably funny. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Nope, she seems... 
seemed normal to me too. Oh. She was kind of harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. On the surface. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm. Hmm. I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Okay, that's, yeah, that's weird. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary. It is a little bit unsettling, that, isn't it? Uh, it must have been the Invisible Man. It must have been a guard. You guys are overthinking things. It must have been the Invisible Man. It's the only logical solution. Well, there's no way he'd get past Donhung's sharp eyes. Really? Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Mm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. Mm. I want to see how nice these rooms are. Uh, Re Regin, civilian scientist. Ooh. More law. Oh, Tale of the Winterlands. Another uh, part of the volume. Time to ask for the bill. Rossi, young master. Right, I'm just, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Oh yeah, this place is fancy. Oh, I bet that's nice. Take all of these random books. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. That's all right. I think we've we've had our fill. Uh, let's have another stroll now. I'm ready. Let's uh, get some rest. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Sounds good. Sleep well, guys. I've got a bad feeling. Well, I don't do. talk about it then. Well, don't talk about it. Keep keep those weird thoughts to yourself. Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off. Ooh. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, look at you can kind of see outside as well. Oh, this is great. What's that? Uh, hotel tea time menu. Ooh, a butterfly berry tart. Souffle flavored jam. Energy snacks. Due to shortage in coffee, all menu items containing coffee are temporarily unavailable. Oh no! Oh, I can't have a nice cup of joe. But yeah, I feel like this game is just stuffed full of... Not unnecessary... Well, kind of unnecessary details in terms of story, but just world building. Holy crap. Love it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, anything in the wardrobe that I can uh, steal? Oh, I keep on forgetting I can change characters. Hi, hi, Natasha. Can't wait to use you. Um, I'm thinking I might replace Hook already. I might, I might put Saval in there because I just now that we've met her, I kind of like her. Uh, rest, investigate, investigate. Without a doubt, what's in front of you is a closet. It is based on all the signals coming from your sensory organs. A perfect closet. Design, capacity, facility, build, quality, and scent. I love, yeah, I love, I love me a nice smelling closet. Uh, no matter how you look at it, you can't possibly think of a better closet. Wait a minute, scent? How is scent a measurement of how good a closet is? Doesn't matter, it smells good, and it's not an odor of typical sandalwood or any other natural materials. Rather, it is a miraculously cleansing scent that is completely artificial. A marvel of chemical engineering. It is so alluring that you, all you want to do is get into the closet and let your whole body soak in its scent. <laughs> can, we, can we actually get in the closet? You're about to go in. Left foot, right foot, turn around, take a deep breath. Darn it, why a deep breath? You want to sneeze, but manage to suppress it. Stand firm, and then... Close the door in one smooth move. Bang. Congratulations, you've now been merged with the universe's most perfect closet as one single entity. What the fuck is this game? But honestly, your mood is far from reaching the state of excitement. Perhaps you need more time to comprehend the subtle wonder in all this. Hmm, this place might seem a little too dark for you. Guess you'll eventually get used to it, right? Dark Knight gifted me a set of dark eyes. Ha, that's the spirit. Give it more time. Adapt to this dark environment. Trust yourself. Just wait a little longer. 
Something more interesting than this pitch darkness will occur. It's guaranteed to be the real deal. Wait, did you hear that? A sound is closing in. Click. Did someone come into my room? Uh, that's just someone walking in the car. No, the real deal? That's exactly right. Just think about it. Now take a guess. Whose foot whose footprints are these? Um The 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 Goth Hotel's devil. Yes, yes, now you finally get it. That's the hotel resident devil. It hibernates in dirty, unattended small attics, specifically feeding on the innocent and vulnerable outsiders. This is getting really dark. Literally and figuratively. It picked the wrong opponent to mess with this time. After all, you are the uni universally renowned trailblazer, the guardian deity of Herta Space Station, the doomsday beast's, um, doom. <laughs> yep, today is the day you purge evil for the greater good. It doesn't seem to be that dark in the closet. The light of violet illuminates your surroundings. Wow. Room service. Uh, housekeeping. Housekeeping? I come in anyway? I come in anyway. Uh, there it is. All hotel devils love to disguise themselves as room service. Such a cliche. You won't be easily fooled by it. Your mind is stronger than those city walls built by the Clipoth. You are prepared. Uh, I come in anyway? Now, devil, meet your judgment. Die, hotel devil! Oh, what the heck? You won. The devil is now banished. This land is now purified. Um, that devil seems to have left something behind. Take it as your reward for your intrep intrepidity. What did I just get? What did I- Praise of high morals. In this grand universe, moral standards are materialized into physical form. Thumbs up approvals aren't rare sight to behold. What matters is you are recognized. What do I do with that? What the heck was that? That was so weird. That was so weird. I got sh shield 20 as well. All from just checking out a bloody closet. This game is wild. Oh, voice of the Stellaron. Uh-oh. Who are you? What are you? Teenage Kokolia. That's a really unsettling effect with all those voices overlaid over each other. Mmm. Uh, come in. Hey, did you hear that? Did you hear it too? There's a group of silver main guards oh. at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. Oh. Are we being betrayed? Uh, this is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. So you guys didn't hear- I'm pretty sure I probably only heard that because I have a Stellaron in me. Um, you guys uh, are assuming a lot. All I can see is their helmets. I can't see anything right now. You can't always be friendly on the job, you know. Uh, I'm gonna go with that one. Huh. You must have had some miserable jobs. <laughs> Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. Okay. When are we going to see bloody Sam Sampo's going to turn up again? Hey, you Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. All right, yeah, nope. Definitely not very friendly today. Are we in a lot of trouble? Or just a little bit of trouble? Hmm... What is going on? Huh? It's you! You were there at the fort! I am Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord in the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. Excuse me? I... We are gonna get thrown in prison, aren't we? What the heck? As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. And speech? When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Oh, well, that's nice. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Yeah, you don't say. 
looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Oh, do tell. Donung, the alley. We're just gonna leg it. The one that's been sealed off. Hmm, it's possible. March. Be ready to make an escape. Oh, we're doing it. We're legging it. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. Oh. Uh, it's now or never. You sounded pretty convincing. Uh, we should probably go with them. No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. You sounded pretty convincing. Three of a kind. Huh? Uh, I guess we are a strange trio. Oh. Do you play cards? No, I, I, well, I play a bit of poker from time to time. Two pair? Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace! Ace! Royal flush. <laughs> oh, they got guns! <laughs> oh, we went in it. Oh, that was amazing. I love March so much. Oh, it's Peeler. Peeler? They charged straight in. We did. Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Coming with? Y yes, ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabog security. That is what I must do. Hmm. Oh no, I have a feeling she's gonna be a good guy eventually. Right. Ha! See? They weren't brave enough to follow us. Freedom! Serves them right. Better luck next time, slow pokes. That was did uh great work. <laughs> it was a team effort. We caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. <laughs> Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. Okay. Hey, we're Trailblaze level 10. Sweet. And I'm guessing we're not going back that way. I mean, maybe we could do. I don't know if we can fast travel right now. But uh, it looks like we're in some alleyways. There's a chest there. That gate is locked. Control panel must be somewhere. Okay. So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to arrest us? Imagine launching a surprise attack when your enemy is fast asleep. Ugh, the cheek! That woman had a troubling aura. Our instincts were correct. Okay, so it looks like we got a bit of a dungeon here now. This is good. Uh, basic treasure. Nice. Uh, and let's try out Hook for the first time, who just has the, the... the... the warmest looking hat. Right. I'm guessing these things are... yeah, they're weak to... whatever. Whatever. Yeah, fire. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. Too Ooh. late to repent. Nice. Right, okay. Uh, those are... okay, so yeah, just fire and ice. Gotcha. Let's go for single target on you. You're gone. Got an ultimate as well. Might save that for a second. Blast. Bosh. Oh, easy, mate. Easy. <coughs> I hereby pronounce this expedition a success. Okay, I like you, Hook. I like your attitude. Technique points. Oh, it's another Calyx. Ooh, do we want to do this? Uh, 
Level 16 enemies. Ooh. We might be able to handle it. Should we give it a go? We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We'll use... Yeah, we'll use this team. Screw it. Let's do it. Again, I can always be doing... I'm doing... Hopefully going to be doing a few of these off screen anyway. Uh, Incineration Shade Walker. You are weak to wind. Uh, so let's do single target. Actually, I should probably do ultimate before I use the skill because the skill builds up energy, doesn't it? So let's the do truth that first. Of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Bosh. I'm still in speed up mode as well, so I probably for now just turn that off. God, it feels like such slow motion when you go back from that. Right, single target. Oh wait, no, you on the right were weak to ice as well. Uh, wind. This is Never our mind. chance. Never mind. We'll get a we'll get a turn with Hook anyway, and I want to see what uh, Natasha's like as well. What about this? Ooh, got ultimate with you too. I I love that she uses a big fucking grenade launcher. Uh. And we've got a healer as well, which is so great. Savor the vigor of Boom. Yeah. She's not going to be too physically powerful, I wouldn't think. Right. Single target. What is this? It's just a giant claw. Whoa. Oh, recover from break. God damn it. You're nearly dead as well. Ouch. You know what? Screw it. I'm doing an ultimate. I'm doing an ultimate. Let's go. You got stage, you're welcome. Goodbye. All right. Get some materials. Okay. Ooh, got 50 XP as well. Nice. <laughs> right. Oh, you're fire. Okay. Let's go to me, maybe. You guys weak to... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Hang on. Hang on a minute. It's Dan's turn. In fact, let's this enhance. Strengthen our position. Get wrecked. Oh, that's a great Step start. Aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Okay. This is right, our yeah, chance. Let's, let's speed this up a little bit. Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Bosh. You're too much. Ouch. Right, let's show off Restore. See how much this will heal me. Much better. 89, okay. So, not amazing, but if we level her up, obviously, that's going to get better. Uh, single target. Don't have any skill points right now. They're really picking on me today. I'm okay. You hit me! Oh my god! Right. Uh, da, da, da. Well, actually, I could get away with. Yeah, I'll do that on you. You're gone. Let's make it quick. The truth will go for an ultimate as well. Revealed in an instant. Uh, which one do I prefer? Probably doesn't matter too much. Go for that one. The sanctuary. So I don't know if I'm going to be showing like every single fight I do in this game, if there's going to be a lot of them, which I assume there is. But for now, since I'm still learning the game, uh, I'm not really going to cut too much out. That'll take more than medicine. It will. Right. We probably again should maybe heal. That's better. You're a good person. You're a good person. Uh, oh, let's actually use her ultimate as well. Just in time. Just a little something. I love Don't that. I love me. that so much. Nice. Oh, and I've got another ultimate as well. Uh, single target. Boom. Goodbye. Let's go. No oh shit! I forgot. There's two battles. Uh oh. Forgot there's two battles, right? Uh, 
Yes, go for an ultimate, whatever. I'm made to be broken. Ah, if only I could hit both of those. Damn it. That's okay. They do. They're hitting pretty hard. They are hitting pretty hard. Uh, who do I want to hit with this, really? Oh my god. I love these attacks. They're so great. Um, right, we don't have any... Well, we do have... No, we have no skill points. Never mind. Uh, restore... Probably hook, yeah. Uh, we can't use blast. I need some skill points. Oof. Yeah, they're really hitting quite hard. Uh, single target. Get rid of you. I should actually no. I should have. I should have attacked the other one. I should be looking this at the turn chance. order. I should be looking at the turn order and prioritizing ones that are about to attack next. Naughty child. Naughty child. Oh my lord. Uh, ooh, we can actually. I mean, I really again probably should heal. Um. So I'm gonna do that. That's better. Much there you better. go. <laughs> the truth of life and death revealed in an instant. Get rid of you. But a vision. Break. Not quite. Not quite. Can I finish you off? Oh, not quite. Just a scratch. Oh, please stop attacking me. Too late to repent. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, blast. Defo, blast. Boom. Nice. Okay. Formidable foe defeated. Oh. Oh, I didn't even see there was a treasure here. That's why that was so tough. There's knowledge of this in the Nice, a bunch of goodies. And Ancient more ancient coins. So I didn't smash these things over here, did I? Solid water. I can use, um... I can use items, can't I? Let's use some of those items we just, uh, we got before. Simple first aid, use. Can all be used on targets that are knocked down. Oh! Oh, my bad. Yeah, that's the revive one, isn't it? Right, we'll use the comfort food. Nice. Okay. I mean, really, that's a bit of a waste. I could just run back to the uh, the anchor, but I just wanted to see how that worked. Oh, and there was a heal thing there as well. Okay. Right. Uh... This will strengthen our position. Bosh. Start off with. Well, I don't need an ultimate right now. Single target. Uh, probably on you. No. You. This is our chance. Nearly dead. Nearly dead. Now it's gone. 69. Uh, just hit it. Maybe I should have healed there. Again, it's it's fire based, isn't it? I think um, I think having an ice character with me would probably be good, because at the moment Natasha and me are both the same kind of damage. So maybe I should diversify a little bit. Don't know. We're doing alright. We're doing okay. Nice. Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Max, this. Oh, this is the control panel to open the gate, so it's a shortcut. Aha! And we've got the chest. Very nice. There's knowledge of this in the databank. Okay. Right, my friends. Well, I'm going to quickly run back to the space anchor, heal up, and I think we'll continue this next time. Uh, thank you very much for watching again. Really appreciate all the incredible support on these videos. I'm loving this. This is so good. This is so far up my street. 
I, I can't believe I've only just finally got around to playing this game. Uh, so, yeah, uh, next time we'll continue exploring the streets and the alleyways of Bellabog. And, uh, yeah, we're now wanted. We're wanted people, so it was bound to happen eventually. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to change up my party as well next time a little bit. Maybe swap Hook out. Um, and I'll claim all of my achievements as well, of which there are probably not too many. But maybe we'll spend some Stellar Jade next time as well. Uh... But yeah, take care everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.